Lay up, Tassino. Play the oh, fuck up! Come on, man! <gasps> Green! Ooh. At 95, bro! Oh my Jack god! Out. There are certain badges in this game where you wonder what the hell was 2k thinking when they added them. Badges that are useless and some that are just so overpowered that you wonder what were they thinking in the meeting room. And that's where I come in. In this video we are counting down the top 5 most overpowered badges that should be removed from the game but we know that's not going to happen. So these are the 5 badges that should not come back in NBA 2k21. Now if you want to see useless badges, I do have a top 10 worst badges list and a top 10 updated worst badges list. Those links down below along with my top 10 slash 5's playlist. On to the countdown. Number 5! Coming in at number 5, we got the tight handles badge. Now, regardless of what you think of the aggressive behind the back, whether or not you're happy that it got removed or you're pissed that it got removed, tight handles I think we should all at least be able to agree single-handedly got that behind the back removed. In other words, it single-handedly made the aggressive behind the back OP. You didn't have to necessarily bite on a move to get affected by tight handles. Tight handles made it very easy for people who can't dribble nor create their own shot to be able to do just that. Tight handles is the ultimate disrespect to ISO players all around the 2k community. The badge gets you open for you. The game is getting you open for you when you have the badge on. You should be able to create your own shot. You should be actually making your defender bite on your moves and create space for a shot or create a lane to drive to the basket. With tight handles, it makes it too easy for people that are too lazy to dribble with IQ. So with that being said, we know badges can't get removed from the game, but we can just not bring them back in future games. Tight handles do not bring it back in NBA 2K21. Or I'ma smack the shit out of Ronnie. You've been warned 2K. What do you think of tight handles? Should it be removed? Number four. I promise you this is one of the most overpowered badges in the game. Green and one off of the hop step. Y'all gotta check this out. Y'all gotta check this out indeed. Coming in at number four, I'm sure you guessed it by those clips. Fancy footwork. Now this footage is from the one and only Joe Knows, one of the top 2K players on YouTube. Now I'm showing footage from him, no copyright intended. Same with the other clips, but I don't have a slasher. But not at the moment, but of course Joe knows doing the hop step with his slasher. It's going to look a lot better than me doing it with a playmaking shot creator. Now you can argue fancy footwork might be one of the most bailout badges in the game. Do you ever have someone completely boxed? Do you ever have them completely cut off on their drive? But then they just get that hop step and get the easy dunk or layup like you're not even there. Fancy Fork, just like Tight Handles, is another badge where the game is getting you open for you. There's no skill to it, it's just a badge that saves you when you're getting boxed. Could you imagine if Fancy Fork was an NBA 2K19? Remember how OP the Euro was and that was with no Fancy Fork in the game, it would have been insanity. Fancy footwork, they should have never brought into the game. They honestly should have just stuck with up and under specials because I think that was the game's intent. I don't think 2K's intent with fancy footwork was to have people hop stepping all over the place like they're damn grasshoppers. Perhaps this badge doesn't need to be removed, but it does need to get severely nerfed or we're just in big trouble. There are people that claim they are ISO, they are ISO community, but in reality all they do is get the ball off jack, run straight to the rim, and hop step for a layup or dunk with no dribble moves, no combos. They just get bailed by the hop step. And if you clamp that hop step, even with fancy footwork, they're done. But that's not what this is about. This is about the fancy footwork badge. Either nerf it, find a way to balance it, or just don't bring it back in 2K21. Number three. Wait, wait what? You pulled up on a wrong guy to attempt that. I ain't going. Ooh, getting real saucy. I'm going to pull it. 
Dang, intimidated. All right, my first shot. I'm going to speed boost past Stumpy yet again for a wide open pull up, and I miss. Stumpy must have Hall of Fame Intimidator because I keep missing wide open when he's next to me. So as you heard from Lamont and Lock Him Up J Man, Intimidator is number three on the list. This badge is the ultimate bailout for horrendous defenders. It makes bad defenders seem like they have defense. You might have those bad box scores that are missing open. And the guy will screenshot you and say that he had you boxed, but in reality, his intimidator was making you miss open shots. Do you miss or not green shots that you normally make in green every single time? That might be because of Hall of Fame Intimidator. Those two shots you saw against Stumpy, those are shots that I would normally green every single time. In fact, I was greening all night, and then all of a sudden, Stumpy is in the vicinity of me, and I don't green. I see some people complain that Intimidator doesn't work and that it's an underpowered or it needs a buff, but it's just not true. Now I know a lot of you watch Grinding DF, you know how he says, who looked at me funny or that guy looked at me funny? That's literally what Intimidator is. I blame Grinding DF for Intimidator existing. Number 2 Oh hi there G-Man. Now there's a reason why I am showing G-Man's footage with tight handles and right here my number 2 pick being Green Machine. You saw how much tight handles was stunning Ty Cena with that behind the back. But G-Man even said in the stream that this was Green Machine. He's getting green after green after green and they're all open. That's cool right? Now look at what he's about to green here. That contested ass shot green. Now it wasn't like contested contested. but my point is, when you see people green 20, 30, 40% covered, not only is that dead eye, that's also green machine. Notice how those contested greens come after they already have green a few shots. You can get one lucky green and just be able to green contest it for the rest of the game. Green machine is OP. 2K, I can see where they are coming from with this badge, but. It should not come back. You know what? I have a feeling that you guys still don't believe me. So, take a look at this guy in the orange, man. Look at that outfit. Look at what he's wearing. And look at his gamer tag. He has numbers in his name. So, having numbers in your name means two things. One, you're a bum. And two, 2K just gives you unlimited boosts if you have numbers in your name. If you didn't know that. Alright, so peep the weirdness that he's gonna green off of. Look at how weird this guy is. Then, he greens here. Now there's more weirdness coming. Are you ready? Look at this. Look at what he greens, man. But, as you're gonna see, we did still win the game. Just in case you guys thought that he was gonna do some G-Man shit. No! Before I reveal my top pick. Make sure you drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications, that way you won't miss a thing. I'll be posting top 5s or top 10s weekly, so you don't want to miss out. Number 1! Yeah! Green! Green! <laughs> 95, bro! You know what's annoying to me? How both times I came out with a top 10 worst badges list? I didn't put Steady Shooter on either of them and people wonder why. This is exactly why. Did you see what Cole the Man was greening? And do you see what he's greening in these clothes I'm showing right now? If you have Steady Shooter on, well, for the most part, you are basically screaming, I can't get open and I suck at this game. Yeah, there's a lot of anger in my voice right now and that is because... What was 2K thinking with this badge? Now of course, 2K doing what they do best, trying to balance things, but it winds up not being balanced. It supposedly reduces the percentage of open shots, but you can still green wide open consistently with Hall of Fame steady shooter, and you can green smother, and there's absolutely nothing you can do. It is game breaking. I know my team players, and... They say this badge is game breaking. You can just shoot over anybody in my team. And it's like that in any other mode. I don't care what badges you have, what your attributes are, or any of that. Smothered should never go in, let alone go green. Now, I got something I need y'all to do. Either at 2K Lab on Twitter, 
or comment on their page because I don't think they did a steady shooter test. I didn't check so comment if I'm wrong about that so I'll check it out. But if they did I bet you they didn't answer all the questions that I want answered about this batch. So we know it reduces the open shot reward but by how much? And is it to where the higher you put steady shooter up does the open shot go down more and more? Because I don't think that's how it works because open still greens consistently. Also, how contested do you have to be for steady shooter to kick in? Is it 30, 40, 50? I have a theory that it's any kind of contest, including 1% covered. I think the only time steady shooter doesn't kick in is if you're wide open. So I want 2K Lab to test that as well. That's the only way steady shooter can have somewhat balance. The higher you put up steady shooter, the more your contested shots get rewarded, but the more your open shot goes down, the open shot percentage. But either way, this badge needs to go. There should not be a badge that rewards you for taking bad shots. Do you agree with my list? What are your top 5 most overpowered badges that shouldn't come back from 2K21? And let me know what other top 5s or top 10s I should do. You guys seem to really enjoy them and I enjoy doing them. So let me know what other lists I should make. I'm coming out with a new top 5 or top 10 every week. So don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications. You won't regret it. You guys got options. Uh, I think you should click one of them, man. Uh, I mean, look at all this content. You don't want to miss out. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.